All right then. Um, uh, I wanted to move this condolence motion and say that we have lost one of the greats recently with the passing of Dick Patricus from Tennyson at the age of 83. Dick ran his business on Tennyson Road, selling all manner of farm equipment for over 50 years. He spent 43 of those as the captain of the Tennyson RFS from 1976 to 2001 and a further 14 years as deputy until his semi-retirement in 2015. Dick, his mother and sisters fled their ancestral home in Lithuania towards the end of World War II. Travelling by rowboat, they were intercepted by fishermen and ended up interned in a migrant camp that was eventually liberated by the British. The family decision to emigrate uh, to Australia instead of Britain was apparently sealed by the impression that the family gained of Australia from watching Chip's Rafferty movies. They arrived at the migrant hostel in what is now Svavel National Park, just up the road from where I live, in 1948, and the rest is history. Dick and his family have been fixtures in the Hawkesbury community ever since. Dick's business traded with Colo Shire Council and then its successor, Hawkesbury Shire Council. He was awarded the National Medal in 1993 and had since added two clasps for his extraordinarily long service. Dick could be proud that his whole family went on to become contributors to the Hawkesbury community in their own right, in the RFS, SES and elsewhere. I acknowledge Dick's wife, Julia, and their children, Chris, David, Marianne, Greg and Steve. I enjoyed speaking with Chris today, who is himself decorated with the Australian Fire Service Medal to put together these notes. Dick left behind 11 grandchildren, eight great-grandchildren and more are on the way. We have lost too many of our local greats recently with the passing of Orb Voller and then Albert Newton, Peter Speet, Lionel Smith and now Dick Patrikas. I invite my fellow councillors to join me in a moment's silence to mark Dick's passing. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor. Councillor Sheehan, did you want to say something as well? So you just muted yourself, Councillor Sheehan. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, Mr. Mayor, I, I'd known Dick and the family for a long while. Uh, um, when, when we first started the Sports Council, um, we called it a marriage between the community and council in relation to staff, staffing and, and, and how they may, uh, we may not have issues with staffing. And so a lot of the voluntary work was done. And in those days, uh, Dick um, had a lot of mowing equipment and the like. Um, and it wasn't a day, it wasn't a week, it was 18 months that he um, uh, that he worked with us. Um, when I say worked with us, he, he, he supplied the equipment for volunteers to, to mow playing fields and the likes. Um, uh, that was the sort of bloke he is, and, and the rest of his family is no different. Um, they're extremely community-minded, and, um, yeah, he'll be sorely missed. Thank you. Councillor Lance Bucket. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to echo uh, the words that the two previous councillors just said, um, and to also just uh, thank the Patricus family. They are one of the local families where we have generations of people that give service to this community. So um, the children, and particularly to Marion, um, I'd like to say thanks for their continuing service because then their children take it on and we see what a valuable um, contribution they make. Thank you. Thank you. 